Shalom to all. We find ourselves in such a special, wondrous time. Chodesh Tishrei, we just finished the Yamim Noraim, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, now Sukkot is upon us. And the Torah tells us more than any other Chag, more than any other Regel, Sukkot is Zman Simchatenu. And why is it that it's so joyous? Where is the joy, the special joy, the unique joy that we emphasize over and over again in Atfilot? That Sukkot is Man Simchatenu? I think there are three answers to this question. Number one, Sukkot is a climactic day. It's the climax of the Yamim Noraim. It's the climax of the Chagim of Tishrei that we finished the process. We got through the process of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. We feel cleansed. We feel a taro. We feel a closeness to Hashem. And now we manifest that closeness with Hashem on Chag HaSukkot. Hoshana Rabbah has vestiges of the Yantiv of the Yom, Yomim Nareim, so it's a climax of these holidays. It's also a climax agriculturally. When it comes to Shalosh Regalim, we have Chag HaPesach is the first of the Regalim, and that's known as Chag HaAviv. Things start to grow, things start to be moving in that direction. Shvot Chag HaKatsir, and then Sukkot Chag HaAsiv, where we gather everything in the hard work of the agricultural season, of the springtime, the summer, and now finally we reap the benefits of all of that effort, the climactic Chag, Zman Simchasenu, even on a physical level in the agricultural cycle. Now we have all of that bounty of that hard work. And finally, on a national level, we have Chag HaPesach is Yitzias Mitzrayim. There we left Mitzrayim, we begin the process of Geula. Any Geula has to have in the middle a, an event of Kabbalat Torah. We receive the Torah, that's Chag HaShvot. And then the culmination, the unique Hashgacha with Hashem, the relation with Hashem in Eretz Yisrael, that's Chag HaSukot. We take Arba Minim, and that's the Minim of Eretz Yisrael. These are unique Minim of Eretz Yisrael. And the Sukkah is the unique relationship that the Jewish people have in that process of Geula. The climax of that Geula is we sit in Sukkot, enveloped by the Shechina, enveloped in that relationship, that unique relationship. We leave our homes and we dwell a little in the insecurity of a Sukkah, but knowing that having to be tough on that Hashem is watching over us, that unique relation. It's a climax of the Geula. So in a nutshell, we have a climax of the Chagim of Tishrei, of the Tshuva process, a climax of the agricultural process, of the physical, of the Gashmi in, the, in this world, and then finally, a climax of the Geula process, where we have finally a complete and whole relationship on a national level with Hashem. Have a beautiful, beautiful Yom Tov.